you can check as you're going along um, to make sure you're not having any rogue polygons or vertices. If you look down here in this package, you've got number of number of polygons overall. So we've got one object, 262 faces, of which none of them are three-sided, 262 are four-sided, and none of them are more than four-sided. So already we've kept within our rules, which is to keep it 100% quads. We've cleaned the laundry on the way, we've cleaned out all the, the end guns, we've cleaned out all the tries. Um, it's quite a clean mesh already. It's lots of little errors in it, which there will be at this stage, but it's clean enough to, to take it to the next stage. It's got um, key loop round here, key loop in the two eyes, nostrils are correct, and the mouth. The last one I'm just going to add, which is just below the head here, if I remember rightly, is the ear. Now start as I did with the horn, which is a make roughly circular shape. See how I'm distributing all the time. It's like um some sort of disease where you can't stop tweaking. So I'm doing one thing, telling you one thing, and off doodling another. Um, okay, so take the ears, extrude that out, turn it slightly, rotate it, extrude it again, have a look at it, make sure it matches what you, your reference is saying it does, I'll pull that in now. Like so, rotate it. Scale it down. All I'm using there is is the normal tool, the normal extrude tool. Uh, no fancy tools at all. And uh, none really needed for a lot of this. Just refine the air now with single vertice tweaking. That's given us a flow around the outer edge. I'll show you that. That's gone all the way around the edge, which is nice. It's given us um, a good edge loop round the ear here. So there's a nice loop defined around. In fact, we can colour that now because that is one of our loops. There. And I can even split that now because we will want to be able to wiggle that air at some point when it's animated so good good deformation in there if it's done correctly so that loop works fine or will work fine um, let's bring the air down slightly there's no loop inside the air yet um, which is one I was showing you on the drawing when we initially started so a very quick way of doing that is to select all of these faces here to there, in fact right up to there, extrude there like so, and then extrude back in. It does leave you with a mess down here, this isn't good, but you can clean that by hand. Get the polygon distribution right, where it's stretched or dragged out, like so. That's giving you a nice rounded look there. Keep looking at the form, so if the form is starting to look like uh, there's problems, then correct it on the fly. Still very low polygon this, we're not really aiming for any super high res model. And we definitely don't want any kind of silly high res at the moment. Just evening out the, the mesh. And we'll we'll make that the shape of the ear. Again we can refine that later. But there's a you can see the ring there, nice edge loop all the way through there, inside the ear, and again the one going all the way around, which doesn't actually matter that much. If we wanted to round that off, then we need to put another split all the way through there. Um from there up to probably about there. So let's do that now. And that will give us the rounded shape. 
when it's just helps in it when it's subdivided subdivision would have done it but um, this gives you a much nicer mesh if it's done like that and with that there you can get fatter parts you can give fatter parts of the ear uh, the fatty bits of the back etc where there's more muscle more gristle rather than muscle Okay, I'll just hit save and I'm going to look at it in a different mode. We've been looking at it at flat mode so far, so I'm going to subdivide it once, like so. Going back and forward there just to show you. Smooth with wireframe off. And that just gives you a smooth approximation of it. Um, and as you can see, when we come to getting some detail, that should be fine. It's quite big, don't really want it that big. Um, but in terms of form, we're nearly there with the, with the ear very quickly. With just a few minutes' work, we've got the shape nice, nicely defined. Um, and more importantly, or as important, the edge loops are pretty solid. So the, the important one was the one round the ear there, and then depending on what you what you're aiming for, you you can put the the one inside. Like so, didn't actually need that to be fair, because um, the, the the animation won't cause any problems in the air. But okay, so um, unsubdivide it and go back to the flat mode and put the wireframe back on. So all the major loops are in place now, which is a good place um, to be at this stage. And the next stage will be to go in and start refining the areas. So actually make the eyes look like the eyes, make the nostrils indent them and look like it and indent the mouth. So this is the first part where, um, in fact, I'm telling you one little lie. We haven't got rid of all the hang on, so I wasn't following my own rules. So we'll just get rid of that one. Like so. And the way we'll do this is to run a split to there. That's now turned that one round like so. Bit of smooth. And then down here we've got another one which I'll, um, let me see, run the split up there and have a look. So the, the triangle's here now. I won't do us any harm to, um, no, let me think, let me think. Just working this one out carefully because we don't want a triangle on an edge like that here. This this is a problem. So because it's on that edge, it's exactly what we don't want. And I'd like this to flow around here. This, this is right and this is okay until it gets to here. So you've either got to add in or take away. So I think in this instance, I'm going to merge those two together and it takes away the problem from there and it gives the problem back here and then we fix it back there in a different way, which is by adding in another loop there, like so. And that's given us much nicer, that isn't right there, that one is very, very odd and would give us some kind of errors. Um, or possibly could give us errors so it's moved it further back and out of the way so again we'll, we'll clean that it is a quad um, but it's very stretched and uh, not right in the way that it was so we'll, we'll correct that now you can see now from what I was saying about tweak being the uh, the tool of the organic modeler because most of what I've been doing apart from the tools that I've used has been to tweak Tweak, 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 tweak. Okay. Very difficult to stop. There. Okay, so I'm going to save at this point. And we'll
we'll then move on to uh, to details later on in the next session.